Hello everybody and welcome once again to another Let's Play. Let's Play episode 9 now. Uh, there is 70 people in the server. It's been an in and on and off type of day. So, I hope you guys enjoy another episode. Yesterday was absolutely insane all day long before and after. Um, no new mods installed today, just the regular stuff that I had installed before. So I hope you guys enjoy, and it's also getting very close to Christmas time. I was working today, and it was, uh, pretty hellish to say the least. Takes you, took me about, uh, I don't know, 15 minutes to drive one and a half kilometers, so that's about a mile and a half, or a mile for those of you that use miles. It's almost time to get the paycheck, so that means everybody's going to be driving down this road and go, yeah, yeah, blah, 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 and just go full retard. Ah, oh, shit, I forgot they had an accident here and need to turn around. Um, what you guys just missed, or I was actually off duty and I called the police. Um, oh, man, Joan sound just glitched, hold on. I was actually off duty and I called the police because of like eight Mexicans came out of the building across in the cabbie co and just started shooting up the place. And then I was chasing after them, off duty obviously, and uh, I really didn't get a good view of them because the game glitched and I got stuck in a stupid trailer hitch. Yep, that's me everybody. Sounds are still glitching up. That's better. And it's so funny too, because when you're off duty, people around you drive so much different than what they would normally. Like, it's just absolutely insane. It's kind of funny. I mean, when you're on duty, everyone, most people around you are careful and try not to run a red light, but when I was off duty, people are just like, let's do 90 miles an hour full throttle, fast as I can go. So I'm on route to get my paycheck right now. There are 11 cops on and I think 9 or 10 are on duty so there's still quite a happy amount of police on for the amount of people in the server. But to be fair, one normal situation can uh, easily take up four or five of those units. So if you have two or three situations going on at a time, every single cop is going to be used up and it makes it really hard to respond to any extra calls or just do regular patrolling. Also let me know what your guys' favorite car is in the comment section. I personally am a Crown Victoria guy because I drive a marquee in real life so I'm just kind of used to them and I do have the Charger and the Impala installed as well. take this last parking spot like a little bitch. When I'm in a cop car, I never really turn the car off, and the reason being is, is that you don't know when you're going to get a call and have to run, because that extra five seconds to turn the car on can be the difference. I mean, I, I don't turn it off because of that reason. So I just leave it on at all times in case I have to jump in and go. Because if there's a code zero, which is basically a situation that everyone is required to go to, and you have to get in your police car as fast as you can, you don't want to wait for that thing to have to be turned on before you can go. Or same goes for if you're getting shot at. We are required to refill them every time we take them back to the station, but some people forget.
Um, I don't think that's such a good idea for an ambulance to be doing, but that's just me. I'm gonna check the NBC real quick to see uh, who's on the wanted list today. Lucio Timoni was a few days ago. And then you have to do slash wanted. These are all the people with unpaid fines. We really don't worry too much about people with $250 fines, but like the people, let's see here. Darius Franklin, $45,000. Thomas James, $35,000. These are the people we worry about. Because they're just going forever without paying their fines, and the result of not paying your fine is more jail time. It used to be ass backwards the way we used to do it. For whatever reason, it was whoever made the penal codes a brilliant idea to say if you don't pay your fine, then we arrest you later and double your fine if you haven't paid it yet. But that made no sense whatsoever because if they couldn't pay their original $40,000 fine, how were they going to be able to pay for for a $90,000 fine, and so on and so forth. And, when you got arrested before, you used to get like a $60,000 fine for murdering a police officer, a $20,000 fine for evading. Now it's just prison time, basically. So the fine was just as bad as the uh, jail time earlier. Oh my god, my engine sound glitched again! This is the first time it's done it. I also uh, heard a couple weeks ago that Rockstar decided that it's, it was a nice idea to shut down GTA 5 MP and or, um, block any sign of progress as far as 5 multiplayer goes. Holy jeez. What the hell is this salt doing? That was not a good idea for him. You see, he's definitely getting a ticket. Always, always call him the play. If you don't and they take off, you have no... nothing on the vehicle. Quite frankly, people will be like, how do you know I'm speeding? Well, after you've been here for five and a half years, you get used to what 60 miles per hour looks like, 40 miles per hour versus 80 miles per hour. I mean, you really don't need the speed gun to tell you that 99% of the time. And what the hell is that noob doing? The reason why I know the light was red is because my light was red but it could have been a glitch. I'll take his word for it, but I have video evidence of it, so anyway, but like I said, it can be glitched sometimes. Because ping will do that to you.
they're always going to say no. I don't even know why I bother asking anymore about NOS in the back because it's illegal. Don't even have a plate. Okay, anyway. Based on his failure to pay fines, uh, he's going to have a problem. But I haven't checked those yet. Let's see here. Cameron Ashford does not make the list, but I'm assuming his IC brother, Tom Ashford, does. I'll let him go with the warning for now. Let me just check his previous finds to be sure. I almost forgot about that. Let's see what this APP is about, because that guy's going up and down money here. One for questioning by Mr. 95. What? User left your channel. This has got to be the guy. Sorry, a bit fried, dude. Channel switched. Ten twenty. User joined. User joined. Uh, we're on to the roof here on the Sprunk factories. Uh, he just assaulted a woman, and now he's starting to jump off the building. Uh, which side, please? Trunk roof. Yeah, but which side? All of them. He keeps running around in circles. Now he's coming down the stairs. We're over here by the east side. East side. Now he's getting into my cruiser. Is your cruiser 9 Charlie? Oh. Yeah, here he comes, here he comes, here he comes. Here he comes. Head through Central Monty, head through the back. Behind the restaurant. If he's a danger to himself and others, tase him. He just sold out oh, a woman, so... Damn it, I missed. Uh, Where did he go? Houston, is it a Monty suit? trailers, Monty trailers. He's Now he's jumping over the fence behind oh, the restaurant. North or south, Monty trailers. Heading, heading east, south. east now, heading east. When Charlie, you're like an oak. Oh, God. Mm. Whoa, what the fuck? Yeah... One Charlie's lagging out really badly. <laughs> I just lost BC. He was over here by Silver Trading. I think he just went up the roof. That was. I'm lagging, so I, I just lost BC. I think he went up Silver Trading to game by the lag. 
Isn't the hobo hillbilly suit? Are we gonna avoid this now or? No, keep going. No, I'm talking about the. Oh, uh, lagging like shit, man. Fucking came around the corner. There's like three of you just went straight through, mate. <laughs> Anybody got BC on him? You flew me out. What the fuck? Might have one inside silver trading. Wait, he got ready to tase him and then he ran up, then he uh, took the corner. Are you inside silver trading? I'm gonna go check. You guys can stay out here. He's, I'm not really too concerned. He's not our. I'll come in with you just in case. Alright, three, two, one, go. Get out of my way, I'm a cop. Somebody down in the middle of the street here. Somebody run him over. What? I don't think so, no. It's probably me and I'm bugged, so just ignore it. We're trading code four. Tried to tase him once there, but I missed. He might what have was his description? Uh, he was a hobo. I, I didn't really get too much else on him. Yeah, basically the the hobo. Uh, hobo. Yeah, he's hobo just a hobo. Skin. Check if he's still online. Let me see here. He may have logged off. No, he's still on. I think the server liked once there because you guys had that incident too. Because, like I said, he just kind of disappeared on my yeah, screen. The server, the the server is locking quite bad. He starts locking it around this time. I go check on the other woman that was assaulted over here. Should I block off the road? Yeah, yeah, start blocking off the road. Okay. Need some space for the athlete to come through though.
We got a 1057 on Pearl Bristol, Thun 1060, code 3 to calm 1. User joined your channel. User joined come to, your come to. User joined Start. your channel. User left Take your left 57, calm 2. I repeat, calm 2 User for the 57. He's going. User left your channel. User joined your channel. I gotta go. Done for. User disconnected from your channel. Wrong way. He's west on the uh, west. Come through. Also. This shop. Yes. Oh, come through. No, the 57 didn't come to. Here I come one. Oh, sorry. User left your channel. I'm an officer of the law. User joined your channel. Who can come on swine gun? One second. You ain't come one again. User left your channel. Bye. Jesus. <laughs> R.I.P. User left your channel. One Sierra clearing. He's going into LS on three southbound. Passing on the bridge and still What's the vehicle? Yeah. Purple Sultan. I think it was like four occupants. Yeah, four occupants. He always comes down into Sunrise, takes the same route. Yeah, I thought I was in there. Takes the same route every time. Mm hmm. That's true. We should put some spike drapes on the three. You should. I, yeah. I, I'm serious. But how often are you chasing them? This is the third time. Put them down. Are we actually allowed to put some road sparks down on Route 3? I mean, we can request them. Oh, on Route 3? I thought you meant in Los Angeles. I yeah, thought we should request it because it takes the same way every time and we can't be able to touch it. Yeah. Well, we have to be. Uh, yeah, we'll have route. to be discreet. Mm -hmm. We'll have to like, sneak the up cover. Yeah, we can just leave the spikes there. That's true, because someone might drive down. Yeah. User joined your channel. But we have to be absurd. Alright, do you guys want to clear calm? I mean... Yeah, we can clear the comms. Yeah. Alright, right, everybody, so with that, Shaw, you can actually say hi before we go. Hello, everyone. And now goodbye. Thank you for watching.